You're listening to the Digital Barbell Podcast. Our mission is to provide you with a clear path to health and fitness through education, coaching, and accountability. We are your hosts, Jonathan and Blakely Fletcher, and we are here to serve you. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to this podcast and leave us a five-star review so that we can reach more people. You can find us daily on Instagram and Facebook at Digital Barbell. Now, let's get to today's topic. All right, guys, welcome to episode number 92 of the Digital Barbell Podcast. Thank you for being here. We especially appreciate those of you guys who leave us reviews and ratings on whatever platform you're listening to this on. We've been getting a lot of people jumping in lately that are finding us because Apple is suggesting it. Like, you listen to this, you might like Digital Barbell. So, um, yeah, those reviews and ratings really do help us out. So, thank you guys that do that. So, we have a timely episode this week. We're talking all about avoiding holiday weight gain. Womp womp. <laughs> and as we'll talk about in this episode, it's not even so much about holiday weight gain. It's the fact that whatever weight we gain over the holidays, we typically don't lose. But we can really use all these strategies that um, we talk about in this episode year round because they're really just about navigating social situations. Yeah, which social situations come up yearly it's yeah. not yeah not just during the holidays last so. time i checked there's a weekend like almost every week <laughs> and then you got football season and then you got baseball playoff season and you got, got birthdays you got girl so, scout yeah. se- cookie season <laughs> <laughs> so yeah there's a lot of practical stuff in here that i think you guys will be able to apply i always remember with this kind of advice you don't have to try to do everything all at once try to stair step yourself in that's a much more sustainable mm-hmm. way to make progress Uh, Another announcement is that we want you guys to go check out our 2021 must-have holiday gift guide that Blakely uh, so nicely put together into a list format. Yeah, I mean, Haley and I both kind of, you know, got the got some ideas yeah. together and um and i put some stuff in yeah, there too yeah, for yeah, the guys yeah. we, we had to really uh, <laughs> to bump drop. up the guy section if, if you can't tell it's a real it's a little female heavy but that's okay yeah um but, yeah i mean i was i'm really excited about how it came out and i think there's some great great ideas and we've we've used or currently use or try have tried basically everything on the list yeah there's everything so. from yeah like like dry shampoo to like barbells. Yeah. Like all the things like that you kind of need. To the standing know. desk that we yeah. recommend. To the yeah. phone charger yeah, that Jonathan we recommend. <laughs> <laughs> practical stuff. And it is practical it's stuff. It's got a good yeah. variety on pricing too. So right. I'll put a link for uh, where to download it in the show notes to this episode. Episode, Or if you just go to our website, digitalbarbell.com, mm-hmm. you'll get a pop-up where you can download it. Yeah. But before we get into the how to not gain weight over the holiday podcast, let's do the win of the week. This came from an email that I got from our client, Shannon, today, who um, she's been with us for well over a year. I think she listens to the podcast, so she's going to hear. And we got to meet Shannon about a month ago or so. She came over to the the ranch here. (laughs) To the DBHQ. DBHQ. But yeah, um, I just wanted to share this because it is pretty inspiring. She said that um, she was very close to canceling her workout program. She's been injured and in some capacity for the last couple months and really not working out regularly. Her mental health was not well. Her nutrition was in the toilet. She just said it was all kind of trash. And then we posted one of those, when you want to give up is the time to dig in deeper Mm. type of posts. She said, I didn't want to give up. I didn't want to stop. I just wasn't putting in any effort. And we all know you can't get upset with the results you didn't get from the work you didn't do. So here I am getting ready to move forward with a custom program. and And I'll be putting in the work that I know makes me happier and makes me feel better. I'm still not physically healed. My right ankle and hip are not 100%, but it's time to get back at it. I got to make the time, do the work, and enjoy the results. Oh, I love that, Shannon. Yeah. I didn't I didn't read that to you beforehand but no. uh yeah she's she's so stinking awesome and you know that's everything she said there is true mm-hmm. uh, we never get the results from the work that we didn't do sometimes it's hard it's a hard pill to swallow because mm-hmm. um, it takes a s- certain level of awareness and um, balancing being too critical of ourselves with being realistic but uh, we're proud of you Shannon welcome Definitely. back welcome back yes. into the fold <laughs> yeah we start we kick off next week yep. with her custom coaching so I'm excited love it All right, well, let's get into today's topic. What's the best gift you ever got in holidays past? 
I remember being pretty stinking ecstatic waking up Christmas morning when I was eight to find that Santa Claus had gotten me the scooter of my dreams. I was hashtag blessed. As adults, I think we get more of a rush from giving gifts to our friends and family than we do in getting them. But don't get me wrong. If you're planning on getting me something, please proceed. I know one gift that none of us look forward to getting every year between November and January. Holiday weight gain. Womp womp. The whole thing is just a trap. Not a single autumn leaf has fallen before every store has unveiled the limited edition cookies, candies, and sugary pumpkin spice calorie bombs to tempt our resolve. And that's not even the real beginning. For starters, we've got Thanksgiving in November. What started out as a celebration of the Pilgrims' victory in the historic Battle of Plymouth Rock, that sounds right, no? It's now the official kickoff of the binge eating season. That one day of gluttony and couch comas invariably keeps on trucking for about four days until every last slice of stale pie has been eaten and every last piece of dry white meat turkey has made its way onto a sad sandwich. Not three weeks later, in come the holiday parties. Office parties, neighborhood parties, family parties, exclusive Tuesday night parties with just you and a box of peppermint bark on the couch. And it's not that there's just one of these occasions. There's more like three, four, or ten of them within a two-week span. Even after Santa Claus is gone, the party still doesn't stop. That's right, I'm talking about New Year's Eve and all of its boozy shenanigans. Yes, those calories in your white claw and champagne count too. It's no freaking wonder that the holiday eating season from November to January results in weight gain. It's not like many of us are getting in extra workouts during these extra busy times to counteract all of these indulgences. So what kind of damage are we really talking about here? Well, a study done in 2016 tapped into almost 3,000 people's wireless scales over the holidays. Don't worry, they knew they were in the study. Between Thanksgiving, Christmas, and the time between Christmas and New Year's, the average American gained a little over half of 1% of their body weight. So a 200-pound fellow would put on about a pound and a quarter, and a 150-pound woman would be up to about 151 pounds. I bet you're thinking, sweet, that doesn't sound too bad. Wheel out the cheese log. Well, slow down, Pepperidge Farm lovers. Here's the real deal. Ain't nobody losing that weight they gain from all those holiday splurges. It just keeps compounding year after year. It would be pretty naive to think that this is the only weight that you're going to gain during the year. The average person puts on another one to two pounds of fat every year outside of the holidays. Okay, now grab your lens and zoom way out. What does that extra two to four pounds of fat on your stomach and thighs per year look like after eight, 10 years? Yeah, not a pretty thought. And I have news for you. Losing fat isn't all that easy if you don't already have some good habits and the right knowledge and accountability in place. Add to that the fact that losing fat as you get older gets tougher and tougher, and you've got the Betty Crocker recipe for long-term obesity and chronic disease. I don't mean to sound like a doomsdayer or a Debbie Downer, but this is just the reality of the situation. No one becomes overweight or obese overnight. It's a slow burn, and it sneaks up on you until one day your doctor puts you on a medication for whatever health condition pops up first. So what's the answer? How can we not gain weight over the holidays, or really any other time of the year? Are you ready for the hack, the secret, the one weird trick to make those calories in that pumpkin spice latte disappear? Here it is. Don't treat the months of November and December any different than the other 10 months of the year. I can hear you thinking, gee, thanks. What the heck am I supposed to do about all those parties and stuff? Well, if you really think about it, there's opportunities all the time to splurge and just get after it. Weekends, birthdays, anniversaries, football watching parties. And don't even get me started on all the international pizza cookie days that you just have to participate in. The key to staying on track with your health and fitness is to understand that you can't go bonkers on all of these occasions. You see, results come in two flavors, the positive ones that we want and the negative ones that we'd rather not get. They both come from what we do most of the time, not what we do one time. Did you eat a salad and then go check the mirror to see how your abs are coming in? Yeah, it doesn't work like that. You get those abs by choosing the salad most of the time and keeping junk to a minimum most of the time. Have you ever blacked out and woken up to an empty pizza box and a half-eaten tube of raw cookie dough? Well, guess what? That one splurge doesn't have the power to make you gain pounds of fat. 
So we need to use this principle to our advantage over the holidays to keep from packing on fat that we'll probably never lose. Because if you splurge at 10 different parties between gobble gobble and happy new year, that is what you did most of the time for those months. So tip number one, choose your splurges. Do you really need to go overboard on food and drinks to enjoy your neighborhood party? I doubt it. Did you really have to have three desserts because it was a night for celebration? No, not really. Instead of regretting what you ate and drank the next morning for all 10 of your holiday get-togethers, reel it in for about 75% of those bad boys. I'm not talking about being a saint and only eating lettuce and carrots. I'm talking about eating in moderation like it was a normal day. You can choose to either think of this as restriction, or you can choose to think of it as an opportunity to stay on track for 75% of the time and enjoy the other 25% with even more freedom and no guilt. Decide which few occasions are the most worth it to you and act accordingly. The bottom line is that you won't be sabotaging yourself over and over and over again. Okay, tip number two to keep from gaining that holiday weight that's so hard to lose. Eat first. If you show up to a party with some quality, nutritious food in your stomach, you are way less likely to be staring at the bottom of an empty bowl of chips as soon as you walk in the door. Use this tip throughout the year to keep from overindulging at parties and the like. If it's an evening get-together, have a healthy breakfast and lunch with a focus on getting enough protein for the day in those meals. Typically, there aren't a lot of plates of grilled chicken around at a New Year's Eve party, so just plan on there not being many available protein options. If you want to take it to the next level, drink a protein shake in the car on the way to the party. These tips will help you eat more like a human than a ravenous dinosaur when you see that spread of tempting foods. Okay, tip number three, clean house. I don't know about you, but I'm about 10 million times more likely to have pie for dessert every single day until that pie is gone if it's in the house. And the same goes for cookies and casseroles. If it's in the house, I'm going to eat it all. I mean, you have to hurry up and eat it all so you won't be tempted to eat it anymore, right? So brace yourself for what I'm about to suggest. Throw away tempting leftovers. The cookies, the fudge, the leftover cupcakes. Listen, food is no less wasted by throwing it in the trash than throwing it away in your mouth. I'll say that again. Food is no less wasted by throwing it in the trash than throwing it away inside your mouth. If you treat your body like a trash can, don't be surprised if you look and feel like garbage. No one expects you to have superhuman willpower, so do yourself a favor and get it out of the house. Okay, moving on to tip number four to not gain weight over the holidays. Avoid snowballs. Even if you live in hot-ass Texas like us, it's easy to get sidetracked by snowballs during the holidays. I'm not talking about real snow here. I'm talking about bad decision snowballing. Stay with me. You've decided that you're going to stick with your plan tonight. You eat before the party, and you even chug a protein shake on the way. You finish going around the room, giving everyone a hug, and then you see that somebody made creamy spinach artichoke dip, your favorite. For 15 minutes, you keep exchanging glances with the tempting appetizer, watching others take dips, hearing them say things like, OMG, I need this recipe. Finally, you can't take it anymore. You hit the dip hard like Tyson in his prime with some salty Fritos. We're talking like four servings worth in 60 seconds. At first, it's amazing. And then you feel guilty. You failed. You broke your promise to yourself to eat in moderation. And then the self-talk starts. I can't do this. I've never been able to do this. Why even try? And then the floodgates open and everything is fair game. Extra drinks, six cookies, and a piece of both cake options. That one choice you made, the artichoke dip, snowballed into several more bad choices. Killing this all-or-nothing mentality is so freaking important to your progress no matter what time of year we're talking about. We think it's so important, we dedicated an entire podcast episode to it, episode number 20, and I'll put the link to it in the show notes to this episode. But here's the deal. You've got to realize that no one is perfect. We all screw up. What separates the people who make progress from the ones who don't is that they quickly move past their mistakes and make the next right decision versus using a moment of weakness to start a weekend of debauchery. Okay, last tip. Tip number five, keep exercising. A surefire way to end up way off the reservation over the holidays is to ditch your exercise routine completely and turn into a sloth. 
Research shows that we are all much more likely to throw in the towel on our nutrition if we stop exercising. This kind of falls under that all or nothing mentality if you think about it. Who cares if you miss a workout or three over the holidays? But don't let that 100% lack of perfection keep you from even trying. Keep the habit alive. Beyond the habit, you'll actually feel better if you keep working out too. Who else is extra stressed during the holidays? Just us? Well, exercise reduces stress, plain and simple. Oh yeah, it burns calories too, which is pretty darn helpful when it comes to not gaining weight between Thanksgiving and New Year's. Speaking of exercising, we have a free two-week exercise and nutrition program called the Two Week Turnaround that you can download and follow for free. Like I said, free. If you need a simple way to hit the reset button, check it out. How about that for no excuses to stay on track? Okay, let's wrap this thing up. Let me reiterate, I get it. It's hard to stay on track during the holidays. Us and our clients like to get jiggy just like everyone else. But we also understand that we can't just let loose all of the time if we don't want to dig ourselves into a hole with our health and fitness. We're not trying to look like bodybuilders or go to the CrossFit games. We're trying to be strong, independent people. We're trying to age gracefully, to be capable, to stay off of medication and set a good example for our family and friends. That's what this is all about. So as your calendar fills up this holiday season, think about this episode and the strategies you can use to navigate those parties without unneeded fat gain. If you want to be a part of a team with goals like us, let's talk about working together. You can apply for coaching in the description of this episode. Have a great day, friends. Thank you all for listening. We truly appreciate it. But real quick, before we go, do us a favor and subscribe to the podcast and leave us a review. Be sure and follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Digital Barbell for all of the latest and greatest free content. If you're interested in working with Blakely and I, we'd love to talk. Apply for coaching with the link in the description of this episode or by visiting digitalbarbell.com. We'd love to talk about helping you reach your goals with a training and nutrition program built just for you. Thanks again and have a great day.